Hi guys, this is Joe Pitcher King and welcome to my podcast. Today we're talking about rodents. Or here with a special guest. Guess who it is? Hi guys. I guess I'm the special guest. Yeah. <laughs> what? I'm Joel's dad. Um, as you can see. We have a name at the bottom. What does it say, Joel? What's my name? Oh, I I don't see it. You can't Creature, see it. Creature Dad. I creature Dad. Because I was thinking, if you're the Creature King, then that will make me also the Creature King, right? Yeah. Because if we go the way that like royal families go, if the kids are king. Then the dad's a king, right? So are we both creature kings? Yeah, basically. Basically, but I'm the creature dad. So um, what's going on today, Joel? We're talking about rodents. Ro who? Rodents. 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 Rodents or road ants? Rodent, rodent. What's a rodent? A lot a ro- of creatures which look, which have giant teeth. Have what? What are you doing yeah. over there, Joel? Because I can't see you. It looks like you're playing with something. You playing with something? Show me. It's, it's just a peach seed. A peach seed? No. Um, I mean a plum seed. A plum seed. See, most kids will be in will be playing with like toys and different things like that. But you're playing with a peach seed. A plum seed? Or a plum seed. Thank you for correcting me. There's a peach seed in the kitchen. <laughs> Can you do me a favor? Can you turn wherever you are around a little bit so you're not looking in the corner? Not that far, not that far, not that far. Stop, stop, stop. Go back to and put it on you. <laughs> no, no, it's a, no, no, no. I'm getting dizzy. What is going on? No, stop, stop. No, over a little bit more. Over a little bit. There we go. That is perfect. What's that in your background? I see dinosaurs. What is it? I made that? A long time ago. Oh, it's a painting that Daddy made for you. And why did I make yeah. that? Yeah, you made it. So why did, I, why did, why did I paint that? Because I like dinosaurs. You like dinosaurs? Yeah, dinosaurs. Oh, I thought you more like loved the dinosaurs. No, I like them. You like them, okay. Why would I love something which literally kills its own kind? It kills its own kind? Oh, Oh, even the babies when they're alone. Oh. Hmm. For the first time when they leave their family. They do? Yeah, they will. I have a question. So dinosaurs, they were here, what, how many... Six million like years ago or something? A long time ago. I put down the pillow. What? I can't even count. How long ago were dinosaurs here? 10,000 years ago. No, it wasn't. It was like 10 million years ago or something, right? 10,000 billion years. Years ago, there was some species of dinosaur. Oh, so I have a question. What did you say we're talking about on today's podcast? Rodents. Rodents. Were rodents yeah, around? Rodents were one of the first mammals. Actually, the first mammals. Were they around when dinosaurs were here? Yep, the first mammals. Wow. Hold on. So these little creatures that I see, well, I hope not to see, they were here when dinosaurs were here. 
Are yeah, you sure? Yeah, they were much smaller. Much smaller? Sure that they wouldn't that they wouldn't be seen by dinosaurs and be eaten. Oh, wow. So rodents have been around forever. Yes. Yes. Even the and ice age. Even the ice age. Oh. I have cold, seen that movie. The most coldest time. The ice age is the most coldest time? Yep. What is the, what's the ice age? I've seen the movie, but could you give me a little description? The exact same. <laughs> it's the exact same of the movie. It's just so it's about a freezing cold. Oh, so, and there's no movie there. But there is crystals. So is it about a squirrel trying to get a nut? <laughs> That's what I, I remember from Ice Age. No. <laughs> Hold on. That squirrel was a don't tell me. I, I, I don't know. I don't I don't know any Ice Age squirrels. The R word that we said. What are we talking about today? Rodents. Was that squirrel a Yeah, it had a giant teeth. So squirrels are rodents? Yes. Hey, 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 hey. Don't spin me around. Don't do that. You're making he that creep like He's than rats. They do? Yeah. Huh. A little bit. If you shrink them ears and give them a giant tail, yes, you got a squirrel. Mm. So, and an appetite oh, for nuts. modern mice that I see today, were they around when the dinosaurs were here? Modern mice, yeah, there was some mice would look like them, but we're nowhere near. Nowhere near what? They're the same as modern day mice. Oh, so what's the biggest difference? Yeah, that one didn't have humans and did or and were never has to anything and the other there is the past straight hmm. so I'm learning a little bit more about rodents first off I did not know rodents were around during dinosaurs um because when I look through like books and see shows and different things like the land before time and whatnot I don't see rodents usually I only see either dinosaurs or birds. So mice yeah. and birds have what been Dinosaurs are actually not dinosaurs. They're flying reptiles and water creatures are just water reptiles. So yeah, hmm. the lizards. So modern mice were here with or not modern mice, but the ancestors of modern mice was here when the yeah, dinosaurs the were here. And at the same time, the when birds were here, did the flying reptiles or whatever you call them, did they hunt mice back then? Yeah, the flying dinosaurs, which actually had feathers for wings, mm -hmm. which so they, the the first birds, which still hunt mice. Were these first birds that uh, hunted mice, um, were they similar to, the, to today's birds? Or were they yeah. different? Were they like scaly? Yeah. Huh? Were the mice similar to today's mice? Because I know like when I see, like mice are like furry, right? They're yeah, hairy, they not furry, hairy. hairy. Were they were they hairy then? They they have fur. They did. Because I they um didn't move. They were really think, clean and they look nothing like mice and rats. They didn't. What did nothing. they look like? 
They look like what? What are they called? Uh, things which hunt. You said things that hunt prairie dogs. Oh, like they look like prairie dogs. No, the things which hunt prairie dogs. <laughs> They're like. They like hunt them on the ground. They're not coyotes. Jackals. Jackals? They're I was not gonna say a, I was going to say a fox. Fox? They uh, look like you don't. Are they like meerkats? I video. I mean, like an episode of Wildcats on them. Oh. I remember. Hmm. And they hunt prairie dogs. So they were in an episode of Wild Crabs. We'll have to go back and revisit, go back and look at that, revisit it to see what they were. They were similar to prairie dogs. When I think of prairie dogs, all I think of is like meerkats. They were in the meerkat family. They looked like meerkats, but weren't meerkats. And then I all think of like, no, they weren't like ferrets. Um, I don't know. You I stopped me. Yeah, they're ferrets. Ferrets? Black banded ferrets. I remember. Black banded ferrets. Huh. That's crazy. See? That's what when, I said. It, when it comes to That's trying to figure true. things out, all we got to do is keep thinking about it, keep feeding off of each other, and we'll come to the right answer, just like we just yeah. did. Black banded ferrets. They look like black banded ferrets, but, but black and brown. So are ferrets rodents? No. They're not. But what fam what family do they belong to? The ferret family. The ferret family. Is it like raccoons? But ferrets, raccoons. Weasels. Weasels are in the raccoon family. Are they? I'm not sure. I don't I don't know. I was thinking mm. the raccoon family. I would think that also. <laughs> Everything which looks like a raccoon. What about a possum? Is a possum in a raccoon family or are they rodents? They are rodents. They're the uh, only possums. rodent with a pouch and no giant teeth. You're telling me possums don't have giant teeth? Look me in my eyes and tell me that. Look me in my eyes and tell me possums don't have teeth because I know mm, those things look creepy to me. So they have to have teeth. They, they don't have the giant teeth, but they do have teeth. So why are people so scared, so afraid of them? They have sharp teeth. <laughs> okay. And possums are part of the rodent family. So they're, they're related to rats and mice. Yep, and but they, I know possums are in the raccoon family, but they are, but raccoons, <laughs> but animals in the raccoon family aren't rodents. They aren't rodents. Yeah, but the, yeah, but the opossum is still classified in raccoon family and also in sight of the rodent family. The possum is a rodent, but it is the raccoon family. And the raccoon and and the, and the raccoon family then no, none are rodents except of the opossum. Hmm. The possums and the opossums. Okay. So I did not know first that a squirrel was in the rodent family. We learned that at the start. And now you're telling me opossums are in the rodent family. Tell me another animal that I wouldn't think of was in the rodent family that is. Mm -hmm. Try to stump me. Or just tell me some animals you know in the rodent family. Rabbit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Get back on this camera. Get back on this camera. Because you just told me something that a rabbit is a rodent? 
Yeah, you didn't see their big teeth. Hold on. Big... I thought a rabbit was. Hold on. So are rodents mammals? Yeah. Okay. Okay. A rabbit is a rodent. Yeah. I would never ever have guessed that. Yeah, they have a lot of babies so quickly, but but mice and rats have so many babies, but not so quickly. So how what? is a rabbit? So the teeth is what makes it a rodent. Yeah, that's the teeth. What is so special about the? Our rodents just don't have the giant teeth. So the giant teeth are what makes the animal the rodent. Yeah, that's the possum and the possum. What's so special about these giant teeth? Yeah. It's like the possums and opossums. They figure out how to be a how to be a rodent does not have giant teeth. They mm. figured it out. They figured it out. Hmm. Yeah, because they're not straight herbivores. Straight who? Straight herbivores. Most of them are just straight herbivores. Uh, so they straight only eat plants. Guys. These are straight herbivores. Don't eat wolves. Don't eat meat. So that's why they. So that's why rodents only have two teeth. The two buck teeth for eating. Plants I have a fun fact. For meat eating. Meat. I have a fun fact. Guess what I learned today? What? I learned that rats can eat through concrete and cement. Is that true? Yeah. Yep, it's true. Straight I did, true. And I did not know that the only reason, like, they uh, dig holes and tunnels is because they're chewing at the wood and the drywall and whatever because... Uh, Making holes, tunnels, and burrows for their kids because most and, rats and mice in your house actually have babies inside of them. And it's because something's wrong, like their teeth, uh, are their teeth aching or in pain, so they chew on things a lot? Well, their teeth are too long. Too long, so and does it? Oh, so they try to shorten their teeth. Yeah. So they're too long for their, like, mouth or their jaw structure? Their teeth get too long. Hmm. So, they have so to that's why they keep chewing. Yeah, they gnaw on things. And that's why they will chew through concrete and cement. Because I would think that they know that there's no getting through that concrete or cement, but they get through it. I wonder how long it would take a mouse or a rat to chew through cement. Would it take like days or months or years? Just a little bit of time. Oh. Um. In one day. That frightens so, me. Your teeth are strong enough to, to crack. You turned the camera. camera. You turned me off. You turned yourself off the camera. I want to see you. Oh, there we go. Let me see your shirt. I'm just a kid on a mission to the moon, to the stars, and beyond. <laughs> That's you. That's you. You are on a the mission. Stars as like. Take everything around the stars because every star is a sun. Every star is a sun. Yep. So that means that there should, by uh, knowing that every star is a sun, there should be more life out there in the universe. Yep. Every. There yeah, there has to be more planets with animals. There has I to mean, be. There's hundreds of thousands of more stars. That I would think, if, if I would think millions and billions. It, if Earth was on, if Earth did live around a red dwarf star, mm -hmm. Earth, Earth, Earth would be saved. Do you know why? Why? Because, right? Because, 
because brighter suns, like our sun, which is a bright sun, actually will explode over time because it runs out of fuel and turn, it will turn into a black hole. It's like running but out of gas. Stars, which still have, which not trying a lot of that eight won't run out of fuel that quick. Fuel that quickly, so when the explode and turn into a black hole anytime soon. Hey, Joel, can you do me a favor? Can you stop pulling on that cord? When you pull on that cord, it makes your voice like get a little glitchy. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, so I, I want to transition. I, well, I want to get back into the rodents, but I want to transition and talk about different types of rodents. The When we hear the term rodent, the number one animals we think of are, there's two animals we think of, right? Rodent. Rats We're, and mice. Yep, rats and mice. That's, those and are the also two. capybaras, some people. Capybaras. Um, people I don't think of them. Example. Okay, I don't really think of them, but I know... Um, that first time I went to the zoo many years ago when your brother and sister were like two and four or something and I saw a capybara that was my first time ever seeing one or hearing about one and I just couldn't believe how big they were yes I... they're the biggest rodents in living there is no rodent bigger not even before first capybaras were a there is and, no rodent bigger than it. And you said capybaras, they live in a jungle? Yep. Jungles of where? Like India, um, Africa? Every um, jungle. South America? Of. Every jungle you can think of. They're all over the world? Yep. Are they all the same kind? Or are they... Look different. It's only one species of capybara. It's just oh. got the capybara. So the ones from Africa can breed with the ones in South America. Yep, and make a regular capybara because they're all the same capybara. Hmm. Capybaras. Yes, I still remember that time. Me and mommy saw them, and mommy was terrified. You know that. You know, mommy doesn't do animals really other than our dog but when she saw it she was like what is that <laughs> yeah so we had a we like went home and we just looked it up and saw that well there there was a like a leaflet that said it was the world's biggest rodent but we went home and looked it up some more because we like we just couldn't believe that that was a, a rodent but we saw him we was like it looks like a mouse or it, it more resembles maybe a hamster. Now, I do know hamsters are rodents, right? And what are some more common rodents? That's a guinea pigs. Hamsters and guinea pigs? Are hamsters and guinea pigs, like, closely related? Because if someone told me they had a guinea pig, I would just, and someone showed me a hamster, I would think it was the same thing. Nope. <laughs> They're not closely related? Guinea pigs are from guinea pigs are from capybaras actually. Guinea pigs are from capybaras. Yep, and hamsters are from mice and rats. Hamsters are from mice and rats. Yeah. Huh. What is it like yeah. a um, like a uh, is it yeah. like um, a yeah, mice and rats keep free. Thing and eventually they got to the hamster. They eventually, so they kept breeding well, in a, So mice and rats bred together and eventually it formed a hamster. Yeah. Their babies bred with, with mice and rats and they bred with each other and they, and they kept breeding, the children kept breeding. And eventually, they got to the hamsters. I did not know that. How long has it been like that? 
hamsters, a wild species of hamster, the only wild hamster. And what is European it called? Hamster. The European hamster is a wild species of hamster? Yep, European so in, hamster. So in Europe, do they um, have hamsters as pets? I, I don't know. You don't know, but you know there's wild ones. Yep, the European hamster, which actually doesn't live in Europe. <laughs> what? Where does it live? It lives in more places. So it lives in Europe it's and other places. Like it's from Europe, okay. but it's not from Europe. Hmm. So um, today, can mice and rats still breed together? Yeah, of course. They can? They're enough closely related to. So if I go to somewhere that's heavily populated, uh, heavily populated dense area where there's mice and rats, there's a probability that I will see a mixed bred species or a, an offspring of a max mice rat. That's that's a normal thing. It's the size of a mice mixed with the size of a rat. Hmm. That's and that's a normal. And that's a normal thing. Like it's normal. Yep. <laughs> I always wondered. Like I remember when I was a kid, I lived in this place. Me and my me and my family, and out back, we, there will always be rats. And they were like huge. And I, that was my first time ever seeing rats. I was a teenager. But when I was younger, like your age, I used to see mice, like crawling around different places, different people's houses. They would just pop up and scare everyone. And I don't know why people are scared of little mice, but that's a whole other topic. Species of rats, which are huge. You gotta look at them. So are there any small rats, like rats that are small like mice? Yeah, there is small rats, like the kangaroo rat. Or, oh wait, is that the word? Yeah, it's called the kangaroo rat. It is small. It's small. Yep, is it's it smaller? a small rat that lives in the desert. I think it's in the... <laughs> I think it lives in the European desert or the Saharan desert. I can't remember. I learned no. about it on Deep Look. On who? Deep Look, the YouTube channel. Because oh. Deep Look. Hmm. So, that, that, scared, that, that frightens me a little more. And when mommy, mom, when mommy gets here, I'm going to tell her. You, no matter what, I want you to tell her about that mouse rat, how they can breathe. Watch her, watch the face she gives you. It's gonna be worse than my face, cause my face looks like this. So are there any other rodents that mice and rats can breed with? No, mice and rats aren't closely related to any other. Hey, can I get you back in the camera? Yeah, I'm in the camera. And now I'm just, my legs are in between my bed and Gaina's bed. Yeah. So um, how about a hamster? Can a hamster breed with a mouse or a rat? It can't breed with guinea pigs, apparently. It can? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I did want to get to guinea pigs because... I said I thought that hamsters and guinea pigs were like the same thing, but you told me they're not. What is a guinea pig? A guinea pig. Like, what is it? Is it a mix of things or is it its own species? A guinea pig. I told you guinea pigs were from capybaras. Oh yeah, they're like miniature capybaras. <laughs> Yep. 
Do they look exactly like a capybara if I were to look at a guinea pig and a capybara? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit, but not exactly? Nope. Nope. What would you prefer to have? A mouse, a rat, a guinea pig, or a hamster? A guinea pig and a hamster. A guinea pig and a hamster? Yep. Why? Because they're so cute. You said they're cute? Yeah, they're so cute. <laughs> Your but. brother and sister used to have a ham. I don't know what they used to have. What did they used to have? A hamster or a guinea pig? A hamster, a guinea pig, or a ham billy pig? I don't know what they used to have. They used to have one of those creatures. I all of y'all, y'all, y'all all have have a bunch of creatures. It's made up of hamster, guinea pig, name. So I want to see how many. Can can I can I can I can you test me on something? What? I want you to test me. Well, we're, we're going to test each other. We're going to name as many rodents as we can. Is that okay with you? Hmm? We're going to name as many rodents as we can. So you name one rodent and then I name one. And then after I'm done, then you name one. We're going to count up how many rodents we can name. Okay. Okay. Who wants, you want me to start or are you going to start? Happy Vera. Hold on, turn around. Turn around. Happy Vera. Cap you say capybara, I say rat. Mouse. You said mouse, I say hamster. Guinea pig. You say guinea pig, I say squirrel. Hmm. I say rabbit. You say rabbit, I say opossum. You say a possum, I say possum. So there's a difference between an opossum and a possum? Yep. Hold on. I thought they were the same thing. Yep. Oh, opossums just live in a different place than possums. They're not the same thing? Huh. What's yeah. the difference? Oh. The difference is that opossum. That possums are actually a little bit more shy when opossums are like, well, like, well, well, are not that shy and like to nest in open areas. So we named. We named Capybara, we named Mouse, Rat, Guinea Pig, Hamster, Squirrel, Opossum, and Possum. Are there any more? Bats and Times Mouse. You said bat? Bats? Yep, Bats and Time Mouse. Bats or rodents? I said back in time mouse. What is back in time mouse? Back in time mouse, daddy. What is that? that? You mean like mice, mice from back in the prehistoric days and stuff? Yep. Oh. That's what I think that is. That's what I so, said back in time mouse. Are there any more rodents? Back in back in time, rat. Horns. Um, so if birds. you say rabbits, can I say hares? Is a hare a rodent? Yeah, hares, rabbits, and bunnies. Uh, so if you say a squirrel, can I say? If you say a squirrel, can I say a chipmunk? Yeah, chipmunks are ground squirrels. Ground and squirrels. if I said chipmunk, then what else? What's similar to a chipmunk? I don't really know. Chipmunk is like a 
Um, a weasel. Is a weasel a rodent? Yeah, or not? So. Nah. Weasels are related to raccoons, right? I think, uh, I think, I think groundhog. Groundhog? Groundhog. Gra Groundhogs are rodents. Yeah. How about prairie dogs? <coughs> are prairie dogs rodents? Yeah. And if we say prairie dogs, there's something else we got to say that's similar to prairie dogs, right? Yeah. What's that? One of your favorite animals. I can't remember. Oh, uh, he lives in the manor. Joel, can you turn around? I can't hear you. He What's lives in the manor. Meerkat? Yes, is a meerkat a rodent? No. No? It doesn't look anything like one. It's See, a I thought a meerkat and a prairie dog were related. I thought you told me a meerkat and a prairie dog were related. So what is a meerkat related to? Raccoons. Meerkats are related to raccoons, but raccoons are not rodents. Yeah. Hold on. But so, there's a raccoon family, which isn't a raccoon. And it's a rodent. The so, is, is... So, there's a whole other family of, like, meerkats, raccoons, beavers. What beavers are, are rodents! Beavers are rodents? Yes! Yes! How? They're just because they're wood. You don't see Hold that on, in turn, other rodents. Turn around and talk to me. Turn around and talk to me. Because I can't under, I can't hear you clear. Look at me. You didn't see. There we go. Now look at me and talk. I see the teeth of the, a beaver. A beaver they is a rodent. Like rodent teeth. Daddy, hmm. they so do giant front teeth. So, what animals are related to beavers then? Because that's how I'll be able to add more rodents. It is like I think it's called a water mouse, or oops, yeah, it's called a water mouse. A water mouse. So, there's like tons of different types of rodents other than what I thought of. It is See, like before. A Something. It's like a, it's like a beaver just with a red color rodent tail. See, before we started, I only thought there was like a handful of rodents, but now we're like up to like more than 20 rodents. And there's probably a lot more than that, right? Yep, lots more that I don't know. <laughs> Those are awesome. And there's also like a musk rodent. How about a muskrat? Is a muskrat a rodent? Yeah. I've it's, never asked. Like a musk rodent. Yeah, muskrat. I've never seen a muskrat in real life. They're, they're like beavers just with a red, just with regular rodent feet and regular and a regular tail. So the thing that makes the rodent is the teeth and the tail, or is it just the teeth? Just the teeth. I so they don't. They're a, a lot. Rat. So a lot of them don't it's even a, share any like a uh, genetic makeup, or they're not even like the same type of animals. It's just the teeth that makes them rodents. They are the same type of animal. Okay. See, when you say it like a beaver, what about a badger? Badgers. Yeah, no. They <laughs> so like you try to rodents. trick me. So badgers aren't rodents. Yeah, they look nothing like them. But aren't they related to raccoons? Yeah. 
But there is a rodent raccoon family, which isn't raccoons. What's that? Like the opossums and possums. <laughs> but hold on. Are, are opossums and possums related to skunk? Yes, kind of. Because I see the similarities. Bit, a little bit related to skunks. But Just skunks are... And skunks are not rodents. Right. I did know you told me that before, that skunks are not rodents. Hmm. Rodents. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, as we, uh, I got a lot to think about, about these rodents. Because growing up, I used to just think, I don't like rodents. I can't stand rodents. I don't like them. Nope. But now when we walk, while we went through this whole list of different types of rodents and the history of rodents and everything, I'm like, ah, maybe I'm not as uh, feared of rodents Capybara as I thought. Capybara is the most, like, safest rodent. Capybaras yeah. are safe? As big as they yeah. are? Right next to them, they won't hurt you. But capybaras are huge. Yep. They're taller they're than some of them are taller than me. <laughs> Do they yes. dig capybaras? No, they're too big to. So what do they do? Just chew on things? They eat grass. And, and, and ocean's grass. That's what they call a that's what they call seaweed. Do capybaras uh go inside go in water? Yeah, they go underwater. They go they underwater. They have fights with piranhas, so like the piranhas not to bite people. So capybaras can swim? Yeah. They're like these huge hairy animals. I didn't think that. They have webbed paws, daddy. Webbed hooves. They're the only rodents with hooves. Mm. Can you give me some facts, different facts about rodents? Well, um, how about like any of the rodents we talked about? Can you give me a fact about them or some information? Yeah, they're all basically the same. How about a specific one, like a squirrel? Squirrel, squirrels, squirrels are the rodent that I see more often than any. Why is that? They're just trying to find food for the winter so they won't die in the winter. Just like every rodent instead of the capybara because they say in the jungle and the, in, in the jungle it doesn't snow. But all the other ones uh, hoard foods. Yeah, they hoard for food. food. And also kangaroo rats they're safe because they went because they only got it what about summer and spring and fall? Um, well, because those are the hot seasons. Only winter is safe because winter in the desert, it just rains. It gives life to the whole place. So kangaroo rats, they it's in the night and at winter when it's finally done raining and the and the shade mm -hmm. they will find seeds to to eat. And in the summer first spring and fall when and in the sun out they will stay in the bar uh, when it's night they will search for seeds it's the store and eat. So that's what most all rodents do. They store their food. Yeah, every other rodent it, it stores food for the winter. That's so is that even what mice do? Like when they're trying to get like something off of a trap, they're trying to get it to store it? Yep. Oh, that's so sad now when I think of it. Yeah, and most of 
them or mice and rats with babies inside of them. Oh wow. That's 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 a little sad. And and, and sometimes they just moms trying to get food for their children. Oh, now I see why Michael Jackson cried when they killed Ben. You probably have no clue what I'm talking about. We'll watch it one day. But yeah, so it saddens you when mice get killed and put in a trap? Yeah. Yeah. So what would be the alternative to that? Just let them run around in your house? Yeah, I don't care. Just get a tub and put them inside and dump them out in nature. Oh. So you're saying like there should be a trap that doesn't kill them, a trap that yeah. they can go inside of and people can just take them out and let them go. Yeah. Yeah, ah. give them food inside of it. Oh, thank you. Thank you for teaching me that, for educating me on that, because um, it makes me feel a little different now, because before it's, I just really it, didn't like them. Can it the, uh, Canada, which you call them, Canada actually has rats for pets, or, or are they mice? I don't know. Hmm. When, um, when one dies of old age, when just one dies randomly, his pet rats, he feeds them to the ants. So why why does why do um, all of the leading um, science and um, like biomedicine organizations in the world, why do they all use like mice and rats? We're testing because out like new worst. things because so, them do the worst things ever, and also they carry disease. So why do they use them? Because they carry disease and the worst ever. So they want to use them because they're the worst ever. Yeah. Oh, and they carry disease. Oh, and ones with ri oh, and they give them rabies. These, these rats and mice, so it's easier for their pet cats to, to kill them. Is there anything you want to talk about in closing? That how did rodents turn into the capybara? How did rodents turn into cap the capybara? Yep. How did they? They just went taller. Is that supposed to be a joke? Wait, no. They just got their bigness checked. They just got their bigness checked? We got to work on those jokes, man, because um, I don't get that one. I don't get it. I didn't get my joke either. The only <laughs> one anyone gets is how the she's going to lie. They just log in. <laughs> how, say that again. Say it slowly. I said, how do she's going to lie? They just Log in. How do trees get on in line? Or how do trees get online? They just log in. <laughs> we gotta work on those jokes. <laughs> All right, so let's wrap this up. Um, is there anything you want to tell your listeners? How do trees get on? Get turn around, turn around, talk to them. Talk, turn around, talk to us. Take the roots. Turn around. Oh, wait. Turn around. Oh, that wasn't the joke. How do trees 
look at the family tree. They just take the roots. Is it how they look at them or how they find them? Or how they locate them? How do she look at their family tree? They just look at the roots. Did you make that up? Yeah. Okay, that was pretty good. That was pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> All right, so let's just wrap this up. Um, tell your, um, you can tell your listeners. Uh, Look at me, Jaden. Thank you for, are thank you going to thank them? So Nika. Thank you for what? Thank you for this so Nika. Okay, and um, on the next podcast, what are we going to be talking about? Or what would you like to talk about? I know we're at the end of summer. I don't know if there's something you want to talk about, like going back to school or how your summer was or any things or any of your favorite things. I'm too mixed up. <laughs> huh? Hiccup. About. Or we can talk about things we might see at the zoo. Every whale, whales, about whales. You want to talk about whales. And you just told me something about a whale recently. Yeah. Something about a dolphin. Yeah. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about that on the next episode. Yeah. The ancestors of both dolphins and whales are the same thing. So they're basically. So basically, dolphins and whales are the same thing. They are. All right, uh, Joel, the Creature King. Um, thank you for this episode. I appreciate you. They started from water, went to land, and went back to water. Oh, you ready to keep going? Are you and ready to keep going? And it was good <laughs> All right, peace. Bye. I said